A good number of truck owners love the Ram 2500 because of its durability and high towing capacity. When properly equipped, it can tow up to 15,000 pounds. While it's not as beefy as the 3500, it's a nice middle-of-the-road option. However, it's also right in the middle in terms of Ram truck complaints. Things have vastly improved beyond the 2016 model year, but buying an earlier model could mean more problems. Here's why it might be better to buy a new Ram 2500 instead of a used one. The truck's debut year wasn't very impressive. The truck was prone to steering problems that led to at least two crashes. Drivers reported that the steering was all over the place and they had a hard time controlling the vehicle. This problem would also cause the truck to shake when going over bumps on the pavement. Fixing the truck's alignment seemed to improve the issue, but not entirely. Despite having their truck serviced multiple times, most dealers couldn't find a solution to the problem. The 2012 model is also prone to suspension and electrical issues. Carcomplaints.com named the 2013 as the worst model year for the Ram 2500. This was due to the severity of the death wobble, a problem that plagues many popular trucks. The truck's front end would start to shake after just 30,000 miles. Many drivers had to pay upwards of two grand to have their truck serviced. Even then, the problem would occur again after only a few thousand miles. Thankfully, the truck's warranty covered some of the repair costs. In 2014, a knocking engine was also a problem for some drivers. In most cases, the engine would fail after a certain period of time and need to be replaced. These unlucky customers ended up paying around five grand for a new engine. 2015 wasn't much better, with just as many complaints reported as 2012. Some reported that the truck felt very unstable when going at high speeds. The clunking and shaking was so severe that most drivers didn't feel safe driving it. A permanent solution to this problem has yet to be found. 2016 was a relatively better year, but some severe problems were still reported. The truck's engine was prone to stuttering or losing power completely. There was also instances where it would surge forward after the driver stepped on the brakes. Again, this according to carcomplaints.com. To see a full archive of all my Ram truck videos and reviews, check out the link in the description below. One more thing before you go, I've added links in the description below to some of the best-selling automotive accessories and products on Amazon right now, plus links to some of the product reviews I've done. You can find it in the description below this video. And if you don't mind, take a couple of seconds and click that subscribe button. I'm uploading two, three, sometimes four new videos every week, and I don't want you to miss anything, plus it helps support my channel. As always, if you have any constructive criticism, thoughts, or suggestions about my video, please leave it in the comments section below.